If you've ever rendered a project using Blender, you know the main way to get rid of noise is by increasing the sample count. Doing this always gives us cleaner results, but of course will also take much more time to calculate. So we usually set our computers to render overnight, send it to a render farm, or just duplicate our rigs to double the render speed. Some of you probably even know about Blender's default denoising options, which do a decent job at removing the grain, even for low sample count renders. But again, this denoising is at the expense of decades of render time. However, in the Blender 2.81 experimental build, we now have a new compositing node called the Denoise node based off Intel's machine learning approach open image denoise. This node, which is technically an AI denoiser, gives absolutely crazy results, which you can see in these insane before and afters. Now before I show you how this works, what you're going to need is the new Blender experimental build, some noisy renders to denoise, a Blender foundation forehead tattoo, and a couple minutes to spare. Once you have all that gathered, we'll start in 3, 2, 1. So in this Blender project, I've applied a half glass, half metal material to our monkey, which traditionally needs a lot of samples to eliminate noise. Additionally, the whole scene is lit by an HDRI environment downloaded from HDRI Haven, which should give us some complicated reflections to work with. Some other things to point out is that we're rendering with Cycles, which is currently the only render engine that fully supports the new Denoise node, and our render sample count is set extremely low. So when we render it, it should come as no surprise that we get tons of noise in our image. But now comes the part where we take our noisy monkey from this to this denoised version. Notice that most of the grain has been removed, while very little detail was actually lost. To do this, go to the compositing workspace and view the render layers node, which is storing our noisy render. Starting off with the naive approach, we can just add a Denoise node to our graph which is automatically doing some AI magic. That being said, this isn't anywhere near the final result we want, but it is a fairly decent initial removal. Notice that we're not using these albedo and normal sockets yet, which give the node more information to work with and will help take our denoising from this blurry result to something much better. Now for the full approach, go to the Layer tab and enable Denoising Data, which adds a bunch of outputs to the Render Layers node. We can now connect the noisy image to the image, the albedo to the albedo, the normal to the normal, the blender to the delayed release, and so on. And currently we're not seeing anything because the Render Layers node isn't storing any Anything for these extra outputs, which of course means we need to render again. So by rendering, we've now populated our outputs, so we're sending extra information for the denoise node to use, and the results are looking much, much better. And just for reference, here's what using our standard image looks like, which again is much blurrier, and this is our denoising result without using extra information from the albedo and normal outputs. And there you go, Blender 2.81 is starting the artificial intelligence takeover, so it's only a matter of time before Blender 2.82 looks like this, and we're left feeling like this.